A few years ago, we were on a cruise and we met a really lovely couple who unfortunately just weren't having a really good time on this cruise. Well, upon talking with them, I realized that there was one thing that they could have done that would have completely turned things around. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, have you ever wondered what makes an amazing cruise? Is it the biggest and best cruise ship with all the bells and whistles? Is it amazing food? Is it great service? Is it incredible shows? Well, in reality, it's something different for all of us. However, there are still seven ways to guarantee that we will all have an amazing cruise vacation. And these tips, I have to say, are not specifically for first time cruisers. If anything, they may apply even more to those who have cruised before. And before I get started, I wanted to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, research the cruise ship before you book. Now, before you say, Alana, that's so obvious. Everybody knows that. Well, I do wonder if everybody really does a lot of research into what to expect on a cruise ship. And I'm talking about beyond the features and bells and whistles of the cruise. So of course, some things that you do want to find out is what are the activities on the cruise ship? Are those the things that you envision for your vacation? What is the food like? What is the entertainment like? And generally, what are the reviews like for this cruise ship? But beyond this, the things that are a little less obvious is what is the vibe like on the ship? What is the atmosphere like? Is it high energy? Is it rejuvenating? Is it upscale? Does it fit what you envision for your cruise vacation. Now this leads me to the story that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So a few years ago, we were on the Norwegian breakaway leaving from Manhattan, New York, going to Bermuda, an amazing cruise that we were taking with our then 15 year old son in about mid June. Now the couple that we had met were celebrating their 30th anniversary. They were an absolutely lovely couple. Well, it turned out that they had originally honeymooned in Bermuda 30 years before they had never been back and their plan was to take a cruise, a bit of a dream of theirs for their anniversary and head back to Bermuda. Now it all sounds like a dream except that they explained that they really weren't having as good a time on the cruise ship as we were. So some of the things that they mentioned that they didn't like, they were surprised that there were so many kids and teens and young people on this cruise ship. Of course it was mid-June on the Norwegian breakaway. Now, while Norwegian is known for their flexible freestyle dining, they were expecting a grand dining room and four course dinners and were disappointed with what they found. They also mentioned that they expected a more upscale experience on the cruise and were surprised by all of the busyness and excitement on the cruise ship. Now, while we loved Rock of Ages, the comedians and the famous Howl at the Moon dueling pianos, they just didn't love the entertainment. It just really wasn't their style. And I should mention a lot of people had that beverage package perk and it was a little bit of a party ship. Now, I hated to say it, but it was clear to me that they would have been better suited to either a celebrity cruise ship or a Holland America cruise ship both of which were sailing to Bermuda right at the same time. Now, if they had done that one simple thing, if they really had researched their cruise ship, they would have had a much better cruise vacation. Number two, weigh the pros and cons and know what you want for this cruise vacation. The fact is that no cruise is going to be perfect and often we are gonna have to compromise. So maybe you really wanna be on the newest cruise ship this time, or maybe the itinerary is most important for you and you really have certain destinations that you wanna go to. Maybe you're planning a cruise with other people and the dates are really important. So this might not be on the cruise ship that you really want to be on. Or maybe you found a cruise and the price is absolutely right and it is worth doing. Now, one thing that I've realized is we often do make some small compromises, but in the end, once we settle in on that cruise ship and that date and that itinerary, we know what to expect. We start planning our cruise and we definitely have an amazing cruise vacation. Number three, don't engage in cruise ship comparisons. Now, this is especially true for anybody who is sailing on a new cruise line. This actually happened to us a few years ago. We had sailed on several cruises on Royal Caribbean. And when we had done our first princess cruise, we found ourselves really comparing. The first day we were walking around the ship, talking about all of the things that were different. 
and not in a good way. Well, by day two, we had realized that if we didn't stop comparing and talking about what they didn't have on Princess that Royal Caribbean had, that we would not have a good cruise at all. Now, of course, we ended up finding out that we just loved our Princess cruise. We completely embraced it. We had an amazing time. And what we ended up finding out is that we love both Royal Caribbean and Princess, which was really a good thing. Now, even at the end, if you do determine that maybe that cruise ship or that cruise line wasn't for you, you owe it to yourself to have a good time on that cruise. So take those comparisons and push them away at least while you're on your cruise. Number four, don't sweat the small stuff. Now, this is really good advice in life, but it's even better advice on a cruise because honestly, if there is a problem on a cruise ship, it's usually pretty easily solved. Now, I don't mean that you shouldn't complain about something that's actually wrong. Definitely, if there is a problem with the service, whether it's in the dining room or in a restaurant, or if you need something for your cabin, or if there's any issue at all, you definitely can and should bring this up. The best people to bring this up to are actually guest relations and really just allow them the opportunity to make things right. It's really very rare that they don't. So there's no point of worrying about it and fretting about it and really letting it ruin your cruise vacation. Number five, if you're going on a cruise with friends or family, set expectations before you go. People love to go on group cruises. However, a lot of people say that one of the things that they didn't enjoy about going on a group or a family and friends cruise is that everybody had a little bit of a different expectation. Sometimes people think that everybody should sit together for every meal and other people think, well, everybody should do their own thing. So before you go, just have that conversation and make sure that everybody is on the same page for what they expect from their cruise. Number six, spend what you can afford. Now, I think nowadays there's a lot of pressure on people to upgrade from inside cabins to balcony cabins or from balcony cabins to suites or to get beverage packages or dining packages or to spring for all of the extra experiences on a cruise ship. And while all of those things are really nice, you do want to stick to your budget so that you don't have a super big bill at the end of this cruise. The fact is that a cruise is a great experience no matter how much you spend. So go on your cruise, enjoy it, but don't get into debt by spending more than you can afford. Number seven, resist the temptation to do all the things. Now, I've definitely gotten caught up in that in the past. Please let me know if you've ever had that experience, but you don't want to go on a vacation and come home and feel like you need another vacation. So definitely when you're on your cruise, plan a combination of relaxed time and of the different excursions and all the different experiences on your cruise. Now, I'd love to know your cruise tips for having an amazing cruise vacation in the comments below. Now I'm going to leave a video right after this one all about 50 practical and pretty genius cruise hacks that'll definitely help you on your next cruise vacation. Now if you did like this video please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and of course please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now. Happy cruising!